Happy Bamiversary! Hey, what's up? It's the Nerf Herder, and this is the Bam Box two year anniversary box for January 2018. And yes, I know it's in February, but we knew it was coming late because uh, if you're, you know, a member of their community, they let you know these things. But that's okay, this is exciting. Two years of BAM box, and I've been with them since the very beginning. Yes, I've had all two years of BAM box uh, boxes. So, you know, that's amazing. This is a great milestone for this company. They've been doing great. Uh, I've been loving the stuff that they're doing, uh, especially since they when they did away with the themes. That was probably one of the best things they could have did because now... Each and every box is just chock full of awesome items. So what do we got in the January anniversary box? We got an amazing lineup. Actually, all my freaking favorites. So we got we got uh, we got Game of Thrones. We got The Walking Dead. We got uh, Stranger Things, and everybody gets an autograph photo from Star Wars: The Last Jedi. So will it be Daisy Ridley? Probably not, because, you know, they'd have to charge like $200 for the box. So it's going to be some kind of supporting actor from the movie. Well, I know who they are, <laughs> not necessarily, but that doesn't matter. I'm a huge Star Wars fan, and um, I just, you know, I'm just happy to get a signed uh, photo from somebody that was in the movie. So that's amazing. Can't wait to see who it is. Uh, the best way to find out, though, is to crack this thing open and see what's inside. All right, reaching in, we've got, we got a paper right on top. Is this, they have been, uh, they've been skipping the spoiler cards. This is the spoiler card. They've been doing, like, an online digital one, but for this one, they included it, and it was right on top. So let's, uh, read what the guys say. The, uh, January 2018, the two-year anniversary box. Two years ago, we started Bam Box with one thing in mind. Create a box that we could see uh, show up. <laughs> Let me start that over again. Create a box that we would that we would to see show up on our. Okay, it is worded wrong. There's like uh, we would want to see show up on our uh, own doorstep. So there's a word missing. I'm not stupid and I can read. So uh, we began to prototype the box. We had no idea what was ahead. Of us, we knew we loved celebrity autographs. We loved the feeling of seeing the signature of someone we saw in a TV or movie. We had just started collecting pins, and we were obsessed. We had fan art all over our walls. We love reading comics. We love collectibles. So we decided to put it all into one box. And then we knew uh, the only thing that was missing would be for people that also love this to meet each other, to be able to trade, to be able to recreate that feeling of being at a car shop of comic at a card shop of comic book shop and trading a friend uh, or random person one of your items for theirs. So we created that BAM community and it's happening over 2,000. If you're doing it, a couple typos in here, but it's okay. Uh, we declared 2018 as the year of BAM. While we find our stride, watch what happens to be a part of it. It won't be the same without you. I sincerely thank each of you who have made this possible, Adam MacArthur, CEO of the Bandbox. I don't want to turn it too much to spoil the items. So, let's dive in. Okay, so as always, there's some paper padding on top, and I feel uh, some plastic. This is the pin, and this is, well, it's uh, it's got to be the Walking Dead. Is that Herschel? It's, uh, it's definitely a zombie. Let's see here. Uh, it's definitely, it says Walking Dead on the back, and, uh, it's, you know, it's a zombie head, and it's, uh, oh, I got a limited edition, so this pin has a limited release of 250 pins numbered on the back, and I think it's just a, uh, generic zombie, not necessarily Herschel, I'll check the spoiler cards at the end to see uh, if, if it says whether or not that is him or not. But, anyways, still awesome. Huge Walking Dead fan. And it's coming back, like, 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 this week, I think, is, uh, the new season. And, or the mid-season, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm excited. So, very cool. Great start. 
There you go, there's the BAM pin. Coming up next, there's a little card. This is, okay, so that's the one-up card for my upgraded BAM pin, because I got the limited edition. Let's see what is next. We got, oh, wow. Oh, wow. We got a full-size Hand of the King pin. This is like realistic, life-size uh, prop replica right here. Now, I do have a Hand of the King pin, but it's it's just super tiny. It's like not even, you know, like you can't even wear that uh, and, and, you know, like uh, say that it's authentic. This, on the other hand, look at this. This is amazing. It's freaking incredible. So that is awesome. The detail in here, it's got some good weight to it. Um, that is so cool. I am super psyched about that. I'm a huge Game of Thrones fan, and, um, that's amazing. I'm gonna have to get something just to display this by itself. Some kind of, like a, like a box or shadow box or something to prop that up, because that is awesome. So, right there, that's amazing. Great job, Bambox. I love it. All right, jumping back in, I've got a coin, and it's a, it's a, it's a Liberty coin, and what's the deal with this? It's got, uh, oh, it's got two, it's a, it's a, uh, uh, two faces coin, so it's got, uh, it's heads on both sides, so it's the regular coin, and then, like, the hacked up, you know, mangled, two-face uh kind of coin there so that's cool i'm not like a big two-face fan uh as far as batman characters go i'm joker all the way i love the joker character and pretty much that's like the scope of of it but this is an amazing coin right here and i will definitely put it in my little superhero section um maybe even get like a display for it um, they had a coin before, and they had these really awesome, like, uh, display cases. I found them online. I want to order some, so I might do that with it, but that is really cool. A any Batman fan would absolutely love this. So there you go. There's the next item. All right, reaching back in. I think there's just flat stuff left, so let's pull out this next one, and this is the... Oh, it's the Stranger Things BAM print, so... Um, this is, looks like the, like the regular one, because I got 1290 out of 2000, and it's, well, it's got, like, the whole crew on there, so that is awesome. Um, I don't have a whole lot of Stranger Things, uh, items, and, and I really need to correct that. You know, I got, like, one Stranger Things pop, and, like, uh, a, a couple other little tiny Stranger Things items, but I, I got nothing major. I really need to, to remedy that. But this is cool. This is going in a frame. And I'll find some place to put it. Because that's just amazing. So I love that. There you go. There is the BAM print. Which could only mean one thing. There's only one thing left. This is the Star Wars item. And I got... I got... I don't even know who that is. But... It is awesome. So, let's take a look here. On the back, this 8x10 photo has been hand-signed by Derek Arnold, who played Volber Dand in Star Wars The Last Jedi during a private signing with the BAM box. So, that is still very, very cool. Now, I have a, uh, I actually have a, a Last Jedi story. So, I went to go see The Last Jedi in the theaters, and, um... Not to, like, spoil anything, but, like, right at the end where something's happening and it's turning around and there's a big explosion, the fire alarm went off in the movie theater and the, the lights are flashing and everything like that. And we're like, wow, that is a really cool effect for this movie. Kind of distracting, but, you know, I thought, like, they were like going all out in the effects and it turned out that they actually did have a fire in the theater somebody uh did something wrong with the popcorn machine and it burst into flames and the whole theater like filled with smoke and we had to evacuate 20 minutes left in the movie like literally had to get up and walk out and and we're sitting there and we're watching the movie and we're we're like 
should we risk it? I mean, you know, I I'll take my chances, but they made us get out. And long story short, they gave us passes to see it again. I got to see the ending. But, um, yes, that was, uh, that's the story I'm going to tell forever, you know, is, uh, is the time that, uh, I was in a burning movie theater to see The Last Jedi. So, um, very awesome. I love this. Um, that is probably the last thing. Let me double check here. Yes, in fact, that is all that's in the box. All right, so let's recap this. We've got the... We got the Hand of the King replica by Dark Matter Props. And I should have known Dark Matter because they make the... Highest quality awesome stuff for Bambox. So that is cool. The coin. The Two-Face coin. Also by Dark Matter Props. Um, very cool. Super detailed. I love Dark Matter Props. I mean, they like I said, they, this is the coolest stuff we get in Bambox. Now, we got the uh, we got the pin here. The Bam pin. So we got uh, fan art pins. Uh, the, everybody got, like, Rick. That was the generic one. Th this has got to be Herschel. It doesn't say, but I'm just going with it. And then, uh, limited to only 50 was Zombie Carl with his eye, like, uh, coming out right there. So that would have been epic. I'm happy with the pin I got, but, you know, Zombie Carl would be completely badass. So, on to the BAM print. So, I got the, uh, the generic. Everybody got this print. Um, but there was, uh, a variant. Oh, it's the upside down variant. That is so cool. So, so apparently it's, well, no, I guess it isn't. It's just displayed upside down, but it's, uh, it's like a black and white variant. I thought that it went upside down, but anyway, so the limited edition one is like black and white. Um, that would be really awesome, though, if it was supposed to be upside down, um, but I can see the printing on it is still the other way. But, so, very, very cool. And then, finally, the Bambox Star Wars Last Jedi signings. So, there were three, four? Let's see, you are going to, one of four autographs from the, uh, above, from... Someone who had a role in Star Wars The Last Jedi. For some of you, you will see an 8x12 poster signed by all four in your box instead. That would have been amazing. But, uh, so, uh, let's see here. So we got, we got, uh, my guy, another alien I don't know. Looks like a Porg. And I can't tell what this other one is. Um, it looks like, um... It looks like R two D two, uh, with Luke while while the uh, the Jedi Temple's burning. I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to check around and see who got it to figure out who that is. But um, so awesome, super cool, love it. And that was the Bam Box anniversary box for January 2018. Amazing job. Um, it is, uh, it's a perfect box in BAM box fashion. I uh, have no complaints here. Love it. Great job, BAM box. If you are interested in getting in on the next BAM box, there might be a couple days to get in on February. I don't know. The deadline's looming soon, so it might have already passed. But, uh, hurry up and check it out. I got a link down below there. And, yes, that is all I got to say about that box. And as always, thank you for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and, well, my website's gone, so don't even bother with that, but, um, that's all for today, so until my next unboxing, goodbye!